in compliance with the national and sector legislation. Of course, we do things by like law. We follow policies and we follow due process. The very difficulty that our communities are actually experiencing leads to poverty, hunger, and starvation. But it is always known, particularly of late, and I'm very much happy that uh, if all the countries today talk very much of rural communities, one of the days when they were very much, much marginalized, I've seen that every other conference that the minister uh, referred to, whether it's a summit, a workshop, the issue of uh, rural women, rural youth, as well as land in rural areas in the hands of our traditional leaders is actually a priority. I'm happy to announce that as I continue with my debate and presentation. Jefferson, our strategy on rural development has been approved by the Minister after consultation with all sector departments as well as communities out there in their various organizations. And as well as our very important structure, that is SAGA in this country, a partner and an agency that continues to support our councillors, our mayors, our communities in such areas. That one will actually help us to follow due process when we implement this strategy. I must actually check us in also and include that this strategy is also linked with the SAPS in order to deal with the crime in rural areas. And by so doing, it brings all the hands, that of traditional leaders and traditional communities, that of the police departments, and social development to ensure that those who are affected are also supported to continue to defend in courts of law as well as being so much cared for that they can recover and, and their dignity being brought back. The rural infrastructure development. This one is a very important key aspect of actually looking after rural communities. In investment in infrastructure will play, therefore, a crucial role in supporting rural communities in several ways. It can help to create jobs during construction, stimulate economic growth, and improve the quality of life. The department has completed 440 infrastructure projects at a cost of more than 1.7 Billion. We say this because we do not want to continue defending, but instead take it and put on the table and, and speak the truth to power. And this is the power I do need to speak the truth before you check this thing. To say this is, a, this is an amount we, we actually have spent during the financial years not necessarily what we are going to do. When we take this report with all respect uh, to the power, we do want to say this is what we have been doing with what was allocated. And further say this is what we are going to do with what has been approved and allocated to the department. Through the program, the department will also deliver uh, 11 farm access roads, 9 villages access roads, and 8 uh, uh, farmer pro production support units. So that the village of our people, what they harvest, reaches the market and the packing houses, still fresh and green, and therefore attractive to our people and in also healthy because we need to look not only look into availability of uh, our food security 
but also its quality. The department has committed 21 million as part of the partnership with the Development Bank of South Africa to construct the Dikini Bridge, an access road in Dabangulu local municipality in Alfred Nzo district municipality. We raised this matter because this budget was not earlier on allocated, but at a later stage when actually it was seen that those communities the department and indeed all the departments of branches were able to come up with a clear plan that our people can no longer be in that situation and therefore as part of district development model as part of bringing others as the partners we are able to go ahead with an amount of a, a 31 million because there will be a contribution by the Yabakuru local municipality, a contribution by the, the Dalrat, as well as the, the actual local <coughs> municipality through its infrastructure development fund. So we look forward to meet about percent Yabakuru when everything is being handed over for the work to be done. And in the Pongo, we in, 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 in on both Omape and Monetary, pedestrian bridges is expected to be completed by end of September 2023. We'll meet you there when we hand it over. Chairperson, we must ensure uh, that our people in rural areas do not get left behind as the world moves forward in the information and uh, communication technology. The department is collaborating with the Department of Transport at Sandra using Sandra Valazone uh, Porto 